everyone, and welcome back to my monthly crafting and talking show, Craft Versations, where this <laughs> month my guest is the beautiful, Stop. the hilarious, Stop. the very crafty, oh, yeah. Lauren Lopez. <laughs> Yay! Hi. I'm so, I'm so excited for you to be here. <laughs> we have been talking about this for a while. Yes. And now you live here and we're working on stuff together. And it's perfect. It's a dream. Yes. It's a dream pretty much. You so. probably know Lauren from obviously her work with Star Kid, but also my projects, Muzzle the Musical and the upcoming Spies Are Forever and Edgar Allan Poe's Murder Mystery Dinner Party. Yes. <laughs> So we are just like <laughs> hanging out all year. Yeah. For this. Oh my god, like, we really are. Like every day for the next three months. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. I'm cool with it. Yeah. I'm super happy with it. Me too. I'm actually like selfishly. I mean, I'm glad you're here for like your career and everything, but I'm just like really glad you're here because I love you and I like, want to hang out with you all the time. I know. I'm so excited. It's <laughs> yeah. like it's gonna be great. Today we are gonna make some candle holders with book pages. Yes. To keep with the literary theme of what's going on right now. So yes. if you want to join us, you will need a few things. You will need some Mod Podge. Mm -hmm. Is that the matte or the gloss finish? This is gloss. gloss. Is mm -hmm. that bad? No, no. I they're, think I they're have both, matte. They're both wonderful. It's just whatever look you're going for. You may know more than me. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I just <laughs> I Stop. think you do. <laughs> I didn't use Mod Podge until this show. This was oh, like I the love first it. time I ever used it. Really? I was like, what is this? <laughs> You'll need some little glass candle holder thingies of varying shapes and sizes. You will need some old books that you're gonna tear up. I got these for a couple dollars at the thrift store. And you'll need some little votive candles. Oh, and then I also have little flowers and twine to decorate as we see fit. Shall we? Yes! Yay! Oh my gosh. Let's craft. Hell yeah. With book pages. So what? which one would you like to start with? Do you have a preference? Um, I like this like shorty fatty guy right here. This shorty fatty <laughs> guy. Go for it. Did you get this stuff at Michael's? I did actually. <gasps> it's my favorite store. I honestly, I normally go to Hobby Lobby, but it was closed oh. on a Sunday. I've never been to, to Hobby get Lobby. These. Yeah. Hobby Lobby is a big chain in the south, so I just was like comfortable with it because gotcha. growing up in Arkansas, I would go there. But so I had to go to Michael's for the first time ever. Wait, really? That was your first time <laughs> I've ever? I've never been to Michael's before. Oh my God, that is my haven. So you like to craft. I do. I love to craft. I haven't been on my craft game for like sure. a while. It's hard to have time. It is. And it's hard to like commit yeah. once you decide to do something, even yeah. though at the end of a project, I'm always like, oh, I'm so glad I did yes. that. It feels so good. Yeah. yeah. But then, like, it's always daunting to think about it yeah. beforehand. Yeah, completely. I totally agree. So, um, I wouldn't craft if it weren't for this show, to be honest. Yeah. It's kind of fun. I kind of like that I'm like, oh, yeah, I enjoy this. Yes. Oh, yeah, remember this? This is fun. It's like, it's just so zen. It's pretty zen. It really, really mellows me out. I'm a little, I don't know what the rules are for tearing up books. I'm nervous. I'm sorry oh. if you guys are mad. Oh, oops. I'm sorry, but... People make book crafts, so you gotta yeah. tear up the books to make the crafts. Yeah, it's like... We're doing it lovingly because we love these books. Yeah. I'm actually, I've never read this book. <laughs> I haven't actually read Northanger Abbey either. I, I have to admit, I'm not super well-versed on the Jane Austen that's stuff. That's okay. I, well, I was about to say I'm not either, but that's not true, maybe. <laughs> I yeah. haven't ever read Northanger well, Abbey. And I haven't read... But you've obviously read, like, I've read Pride, Pride and Prejudice, Prejudice, Sense and Sensibility, and Mansfield Park, which is three of the six. But oh, okay. I am a big PNP and SNS fan, and sure. as far as movies go. Oh, I do love see, it. see, I've never seen the movies. Really? No, I read Pride None and Prejudice, like, forever ago. No, I've never wow. seen... Yeah, I don't think. It's so long. Yeah. You and I are, like, working on a lot together. I know. And it's... I'm... Stoked I'm so it. stoked too. It's like nice to work with like a girlfriend. Yep. It's just it's nice. And because we had never worked together before like muzzle. That's true. And even in muzzle we like didn't get to do that much. Yeah. Did you enjoy working on muzzled? Yeah, I did. How did you get involved actually? Because you um, weren't here yet. Yeah. Oh, it was because what am I gonna do? I'm gonna cut strips of this. That's I'm what just, I'm doing. Oh, you are. And I'm just putting them willy-nilly. Oh, I like that. Like okay, this. cool. Just Did you zoom in on that? Just doing stuff. <laughs> just getting some really get in there. Artsy shots. <laughs> <laughs> so did they just like reach out to you? It, and was, be like, hey. it was at WikiCon Portland. Oh, yes. Uh, wow, that and was a while ago. So long ago, yeah. yeah. And Zach 
Grafton, who like, wrote it and everything, uh-huh. he knew Joey from School of Thrones. Right. Which is and, how I met Joey. Oh, yes. Yeah. And right. Joey and I were, like, we happened to be, like, hanging out. And, uh, oh, was that, you know what it was? It was at the, the dance. The, like, oh, the ball. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was at the ball. And we were all, like, in a group dancing. And and Zach came over and Joey introduced me to Zach. And, like, all That's the star so kids fun. there. That's and so Zach fun. was just like. Would you want to be like part of this thing? <laughs> and I was like, sure. And I like gave him my email, and then like two years later, yeah, he was right. like, hey, remember that thing? It's happening. That's so funny. So, yeah, that's really funny. Yeah, it was cool. It's kind of cool too, cause like sometimes with those like small kind of meetings, you kind of like forget about the project, mm-hmm. and then when someone's like, oh, remember this thing, and you're like, yeah, oh, cool, yeah. something yeah. fun to do. I was so excited when I fa- when I found out that you were gonna be in it because oh. obviously I had well I didn't know. Um, I didn't know who you guys were until School of Thrones. Right. And then, like, we were at GeekyCon to, or LeakyCon together. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I gotta watch this thing. And I so I finally did watch Potter Musical. And I was like, holy crap, these guys are so good! <laughs> I was like, no wonder they're, like, huge rock stars. Oh, my thing. God. Like, I just couldn't believe how good you guys were. Oh, thanks. So now I'm, like, obviously super stoked to be working with you guys. Same here. Well, thanks. So, yeah, so we're doing two projects together right now. Yeah. Well, one and hasn't I'm, really started yet. But right. Well, I know. Yeah. It's kind of. You've, like, done little things. We're in the thick of spies now. Yeah. We just started rehearsals last week, and so far, so good. Yeah, and last night was, like, our yeah. real, like, first That's real, like, true. rehearsal that wasn't just, like, music or yeah. something. We, like, worked on stuff. And you're choreographing. Yes, I am. so awesome. I had Thanks. no idea you were a dancer. Oh, yeah. That was... I was a dancer before I was anything else. Really? So. Did yeah. Did you do it for a long time? I did, yeah. Since oh. I started when I was, like, three. Uh-huh. I did, um, I did too, actually. Yeah. But I haven't, did, like, I quit in high school, and I didn't oh. really, like, keep it up after that. Well, for sure. I d- was on, like, dance team and stuff, and then oh, I yeah. did a lot of dancing musicals in college, but I didn't, like, stay in ballet Like, or in classes. Yeah. Yeah, I love choreographing. It's, like... Sometimes I enjoy a rehearsal more as a choreographer than as an actor. Really? That's so I'm, interesting. I'm a bad actor. I hate rehearsing. <laughs> I'm terrible at choreography. I, I mean, really? in terms of, like, I enjoy doing it. But sure. I don't think I'm good at coming up with it at all. Really? Yeah. It's just funny to hear, like, the way different people. I just am glad you like that because that's oh, so yeah. not my jam. Also, I was just, like, watching you teach it to us last night, and you're so good at, like, I'm terrible at teaching things. Oh. And, like, just watching you do that, you're, like, so good at just, like, keeping everybody's attention. And Thanks. Yeah. I just, like, flash on my bra here and there and really <laughs> keep their <laughs> eyes on That's me. the best way to do it. I'm just kidding. I'm so excited. I mean, yeah. I this is the first stage thing I've done in five years. It's been five like, years? <laughs> Wait, so what was the five years ago? A long time. I What'd did a musical version of Anne of Green Gables. Oh, that's cool. Anne Shirley. Yeah. Oh, of course. It you was did. really, really fun. And that's it was awesome. a ton of work. Like it was I was on stage like the whole time. Much in the same way that Kurt Mega is with our show. Like, totally. It was just a lot for me personally. And it was great and I loved it, but I just like I mean, you know, doing theater in LA isn't super um, you don't get paid a lot. <laughs> so totally, yes. It kind of, it, I didn't, like, really continue because I kind of had to, you know, make a living, and that wasn't really... really <laughs> so yeah. interesting. <laughs> yeah. Um, wasn't yeah. really doing it for me. Totally. Um, but once Tin Can Brothers were like, hey, would you want to be in this? I was like, yes. Hell yeah. I, I feel like I need to do that again because yeah. it's been so long. It's like, ugh, this sounds so lame, but, like, when you're an, an actor who's, like, started in theater like that's where Mm -hmm. you got your start it like feels like you need it for your soul yeah you need like it's so true a recharge and it's such a different it's just such a different ball game yeah that I feel like I've really gotten like I really need to flex those muscles because I haven't had an opportunity to do that totally in the last few years and yeah it's just so fun plus everybody in the cast is like out of control (laughs) Yeah, out in more ways good. than one. Yes, that's true. <laughs> no, but yeah, the cast is so fun. Everyone's so nice. Yeah, it's great. It's, it's yeah, it's been a pleasure so far. I like at our table read the other day, which went really, really well. Yeah, it was like fun. better than I even expected. 
I was just like, wow, I can't believe I'm going to show with these people. Like, I just kind of had this little, like, wow, this is, this feels so awesome. Yeah, it was kind of surreal, because yeah. I remember, like, talking to Brian and Corey and Joey, uh -huh. like, a while ago, like, a long time ago, uh -huh. and they talked about, like, yeah, we'd, like, love to eventually do an original musical, and I was like, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And then it seemed like all of a sudden they are like, we're going to do it, and then everything was... Yeah rolling yeah it's so un it's unbelievable and like the scope of the show i mean i feel like wow yeah all the star kids shows have been i haven't watched all of them but why <laughs> <laughs> why why not <laughs> good. looks so good you like it yeah yours looks great too i don't know i'm saying i haven't seen all of the star kids shows but i get the mm. impression that they're all fairly long or like big um like a, uh, yeah i don't know i would think i'd say that so the first few shows are long. Like, the Potter shows are all very long. Right. Starship was long and a very big show. But I think after Starship, we kind of were like, mm, let's, like, scale it back a uh -huh. little bit. So I think from there, like, Batman was our next show. And that was, oh, like, I, I think two hours. Batman show. Yeah, Holy oh. Musical Batman. Sean's excited. <laughs> yeah. It's super fun. It's a super fun show. The music's really cool. That's awesome. I'm just, like, impressed that, like, the scale of Spies is pretty big. Yeah, it's... I was like, are they honestly gonna be able to do this? But <laughs> kind they're of like, I felt too. all the all the people on the production side, like the set designer, the costume, yeah. they all have master's degrees. Really? Yeah, they're oh, all like, wow. they all know so much, That's and they're so cool. good. That's so, cool. Yeah, so I'm like, well, I trust that they like, know what they're doing. Obviously, it's definitely like at this point, I'm a little daunted. I'm a little yeah. like, okay, we got a lot to do. Totally. In the next month, but. You know, everybody is really on top of their game, and yeah, I think it's gonna come together really well. And also, the, so we just had the table read this past weekend, and people were just like laughing and loving it. Yeah, which it is felt really cool. exciting because, of course, like you can read something and think it's good, but you just are like, I don't know how people are gonna respond to this. Totally, like, we'll see what they think. Um, but people really liked it, which was great. Yeah, so. it was great to get that like small like test group in there mm -hmm. like kind of like it really actually was very smart yeah. because yeah. you know now we know like what people thought was funny and yeah what what didn't exactly land Not right will necessarily change everything but it's just good to be like okay good totally. to know yes very smart to, of them to do that yeah so hey spies are forever come see it march 11. 11th <laughs> I only remember because March 11th is my dad's birthday, oh, so that like awesome. sticks out in my mind. There you go. Otherwise, I'd have no idea. March 11th to April 3rd, I think, or yes, something like April that. Yes, April 3rd. In North Hollywood at the NoHo Arts Center. It's going to be fun. It'll be fun, and it's a really nice also, theater, too. It is. A, it's a very cool theater. It's like very different. It's really neat. And also, what? No, no, go, please. I'm just going to say you made me cry laughing in the table read. And in what? the scene that I have with you. Oh, oh. <laughs> That was a fun scene. So I'm a little nervous about <laughs> holding it together. No, no. We're going to be pros, and we're also going to be so sick of... That's true. All you of know, the jokes. Yeah. We, it won't even phase us anymore. <laughs> so we got that, and then we have Poe Party. Yes. Uh, currently, currently funding on Kickstarter, which has just been going far and away. Oh, so good. Better than we expected. You Very, guys are killing it. Thanks. The first couple of days were just, like, so amazing we yeah. just really were not i mean we were prepared but we did, didn't expect that but you know at the same time like we got a killer cast and i personally think the idea is pretty great it's awesome so, it's i'm like very excited about it we're so excited to have you on board oh, stop it. also that that day we took the portraits for the posters oh yeah <gasps> you just looked so good <laughs> You just looked so good. And I that am a was professional like, model. You are, though. I know you keep making that joke, but you look amazing. Oh, my God. Thank you. It was only because I had, like, a giant hat on, you yeah. know, and there was, like, a lot of shading. <laughs> I was like, I am, like, not... I am so awkward getting my picture taken. I never know what to do. My face always looks so weird in pictures. Well, you would never know it. No, and I was, like, a little intimidated because Mary Kate's, like... Whatever. Really Whatever. You are. You're like one of the most photogenic people I've ever seen in my life. Uh, thank you, That's I guess. True. I can't really That's control true. that, but. Well, thank your mom and dad. Thanks, mom and dad. <laughs> thank you. That was a really cool 
thing too because like that was the first time obviously like we have a lot of work to do in terms of like creating these characters Mm because this is still very early on in the process but yeah that was the first time we were like kind of seeing these characters come to life and oh it was just rad like we were just so excited by it and that's so cool everybody looked so good you included like you just looked so badass thank you and we were like yes (laughs) like this is what we've been dreaming of which is so all those posters have looked they so freaking cool they are sick and that's all due to our wonderful wonderful graphic designer and photographer for that day oh that's the same guy yeah oh david cater he is he's just a wizard yeah and has totally created the look of the show, which is exactly what we wanted it to be. Yeah, it so, looks cool and, like, old-timey. Yeah, and it's perfect. Love it. We're very, very pleased with how it's turning out. And it's also, too, like, it's a really good group of people. Yeah. Um, and I'm just really excited to to work with everybody. Well, I'm so excited to meet. There's, like, so many people that I don't know. So I'm, yeah. I'm excited to meet everyone Well, and work with it is them. a huge cast. Yeah. Like, it's a very big cast. Everybody, like, is very distinctive and, like, has their own sort of flavor that they bring to the show. And Love I think that. it's all going to really, like, come together in a really nice way. That's I'm really, great. Really looking forward to that. Yeah. So that'll be so fun. Please go give us money on Kickstarter and make sure it happens. <laughs> we need your money. We'll be sad if it doesn't. <laughs> but uh, no, so, it'll far totally happen. so far it's going pretty well. Oh, maybe yeah. I'll put the twine at the bottom. Ooh, that's a great idea. Thanks. Welcome. Yeah, this is turning out okay. That looks great. Thanks. I wasn't quite sure. It's Yours awesome. looks good too. I Thank love you. that. It's I a love... little like willy nilly. No, it's awesome but... though. It Thanks. looks it looks so good. Thank you. You really know what you're doing. <laughs> I'm very impressed. I really know how to destroy a book and then paint it <laughs> <laughs> paste it onto something. <laughs> well, shall we play a game that we sometimes play on this show? Yeah. Can I use these? Yeah. They are for they are for your use. Thank you. So that okay. game that yes. we like to play is called Hanky Panky, Marry or Kill. Oh, okay, Ooh. perfect. Or Kindly Push Aside is now what we call it. Kindly Push Aside. Yeah. Oh, instead of Kill. <laughs> yeah, that's I love it. My I'm, last guest, Brie Cuoco, decided that was a better phrase to yeah, use. Yeah, like I could do without. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just a kill is aggressive. It's very yeah. I'm yeah. I I'm pretty into nonviolence, so yeah, that's great, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> So let's see. I'm going to give you some <laughs> some authors because okay. why not? Yeah, of course. But maybe some authors that, not authors that have been announced as a part of the Pope Party because then it feels like, because we've already given faces to them, so then it's like, right. you know what I mean? Yeah, I, yeah. Right. I totally get it. We were trying to play this during the live stream and then I was like, this feels weird because <laughs> these people are my friends. And, um, so let's see. Who do we, who are authors? <laughs> but based on their works, we can either hanky panky marry or, or kindly push aside. Okay, J.D. Salinger. Okay. John Steinbeck. Oh. Okay. And Stephen King. Sure. <laughs> okay. Gosh, this is hard. This, these authors may or may not be in the party. Do not take this as any indication <laughs> of whether they are around. I think I would. Wait, it's hanky panky marry, kindly push aside. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think I would hanky panky. It's pretty weird. John Steinbeck. Okay, okay. And then I would marry Stephen King. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. He seems like a great guy. Yeah, that's I fair. love him on Twitter. You should that's all fair. follow him. Yeah. And then I would kindly push aside JD Salinger. Interesting. I feel like I'm going to lose some like friends for this but I was like never a huge fan of like the right. yeah I was never a huge fan of it a lot of people don't like it I yeah. don't think you're gonna lose friends for that okay I think that's okay, okay. good good answers thank you well those done. were good choices honestly thanks. very good choices thanks so much okay um, do you want to give me a few yes. okay <laughs> hanky panky Mary kindly push aside uh-huh. Veronica Roth okay divergent right okay right yeah. I met I didn't meet her you but did. she at Geeky last year. She was there. Oh, that's right. And she, I don't remember what happened, but something happened, and then she, like, like called across the room at me, like, ha, hey, and I had just put salami in <laughs> And I was like, bye. And then I was like, cool. The only interaction I've ever had with Ron Roth, I had salami in my mouth. <laughs> that's, all, that's like, a situation I would find myself in, for sure. I felt really so, cool. I sympathize. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, okay, Veronica Roth. Great. 
E.L. James. Okay. That's have you read any of those Yes. <laughs> no, I haven't. I've read all three. Whoa. All three books. Whoa, girl. They're a triumph. Or Suzanne Collins. Okay. Whew. Okay. Well, I'm not... That looks so good. Thank you. Look how cute that is. I used all your flowers. Do it. <laughs> I'm so okay with that. That looks Thank so you. good. Thanks. I just made uh, the candle version of Ariel's dress <laughs> <laughs> and a little mermaid that she puts together when she becomes a human. Uh, there you go. Um, let's see. So the only one I've read is Suzanne Collins. Okay. I've read The Hunger Games. Okay. I haven't read Divergent. I'm probably going to kindly push aside E.L. James. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to, hmm, maybe I'll hanky panky with Veronica Roth because she's pretty attractive and i Need to make up for the time she saw me with salami. Hand <laughs> fair. That is fair. So that's just going off of her as a person, then not her works. And then I'll marry Suzanne Collins. Because I enjoyed The Hunger Games. I loved The Hunger Games. Me too. Yes. I loved them. Yeah. I don't know much about her personally, but. It doesn't matter. She can tell me <laughs> stories forever. Yeah. And I'll that's be That's all happy. that matters. There you go. So you and I are both gluten free. We are. Isn't yeah. that exciting? It is. <laughs> Honestly, I get so excited when I meet other people who are gluten-free. I do, too. Yeah. I do, too. Do I want to do... Maybe I'll do this big one. Yeah. Is that okay? Yep. Do okay. the Tolly Fatty for sure. The Tolly Fatty. And you've written a book. Yes, yes. Um, That's amazing. Can you tell me about that? Very... I didn't really know you. I remember that yeah. happening, like, peripherally. Sure. I was like, oh, this girl's doing a book, but I didn't know you at that point, so I don't really know much about it. Yeah, I just... I wrote a cookbook... Yeah, it was super fun. We did it really fast. I would literally, like, wake up in the morning and just go right to the kitchen and just start baking stuff. At, like, 8 a.m., I was, like, testing wow. cakes. And I was like, well. But yeah. So that's, that's so was. crazy. Did you always like baking? Even yeah. Even you you're gluten-free? Yes. I, yeah, I've always loved baking. I would bake all the time in college. It's like, like crafting. It's like a stress yeah. release, but then yeah. you get to eat. You yeah, to that's eat true. <laughs> so. That's true. Uh, I'll always go for the thing you can eat. I'll that's always awesome. go for that. I used to be really into baking when I was younger. Yeah. And I just, I don't know, I think... I mean, I still like it. I feel like I got a little discouraged after being, you know, having to be gluten-free because it's yeah. definitely more difficult. Totally. And I definitely, like, had some times I tried and it just didn't turn out oh, well. Oh, yeah. I still have that. Yeah. It's not It's not easy, so I kind of got discouraged and I don't do it as much. But sure. do you have, like, a favorite, like, flour that you like to use? or? Well, I used to make my own blend Did because you? I thought the blends that I would buy in the grocery store were crap. Mm -hmm. They tasted like garbage. I would, I would agree with that. And I just kind of through trial and, and tons of error, I found out like which flowers I really liked and like what works well. So mm -hmm. I used to make my own blend, but actually recently Bob's Red Mill yeah. has come out with a new, because they, oh. they had an all-purpose flower yes. that was bad it tastes beany it's they oh, never ever use bean flour yeah when you're baking just like don't do it it's so, so beany it's gross and so i hated that one and so i never bought it but they just came out with a new uh like cup for cup like it's supposed to substitute cup for cup uh with regular flour okay and it is awesome okay so i've been using that a lot and it's Good been to great know. yeah okay i'll have to check that out yeah totally that's awesome so is your cookbook all baked goods yeah it's like all sweets mm -hmm. there's like pancakes yeah. and stuff like that but then yeah pretty much everything's like cookies and cake no oh, that's awesome it's like fun stuff yeah i love that how yeah. did you go about like deciding what you wanted to put in it and everything um so it's just such an interesting oh, i like yeah. don't know anybody who's done this and i can't yeah, ever it's imagine weird. doing it myself <laughs> it's very cool um if you ever do decide to do it, just get ready to eat a lot of sweets. <laughs> so I, there were, I don't know how I came up with how, what I wanted to do. It's like there were recipes that I kind of had been making for a while that I had come up with that I was like, oh, I, that's like a crowd pleaser. I really want to put that in there. Uh -huh. um, and then it was also, it was mainly just stuff that I was like, what would I want to bake and eat, sure, you know? Sure. And luckily it was common with a lot of the things that other people wanted to bake and eat. So, That's awesome. Yeah, so I was just like, what would I want in a cookbook that mm -hmm. I haven't been able to find? So mm -hmm. I wanted to make it, like, kind of funny and fun and, like, not serious, mm -hmm. but also have, like, some tasty stuff. Honestly, I sometimes I forget that I, <laughs> that I made that. Yeah. And someone will bring it up and I'm like, oh, yeah, 
Yeah, I wrote a cookbook. That's so awesome. Yeah, it was fun. It was super fun. Is it still, like, available? Yeah. Where do people find it? So people can buy it through the Ann Arbor T-shirt company. Okay. Which I think is annarbortees.com. Okay, cool. But yeah, they can still buy it. The recipes in there, there are still recipes in there that I use to this day. Some of them I'm like, I wish I could, like, update because... Sure. I found better ways to make sure. them, but all in all, like that's how pretty it is good. with anything, though. Totally, it's like you watch something you did, oh, you know, gosh. three years ago, and you're like, ha, ah, cool choices. Oh boy, yeah, <laughs> cool choices. <Jeez>. Me, <laughs> actually, I'm curious. Like now, obviously, like you guys did your first stuff when you were in college. Yeah, and it's like on the internet for everyone to see. Oh yeah. Do you feel is like is that weird? Do you like feel weird about it? Is there stuff you wish you could like um, do differently? I mean, I mean, I don't watch I it. I think you're in, incredible. Oh God, as Draco. Like, thank you're you. Just one of the best parts of that thing. Well, oh, thank you. Everyone's you know, pretty in funny. It is very good. Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't mean to diminish anybody else. No, no, no. Everybody in it. Like even Joey. He was the only person I knew already, and I watched it, and I was like, dang, Joey's, Joey's so really good. Funny. Yeah, Dylan is one of my favorite characters. Dylan's in that. great. Um, Dylan's also really great in Twisted, which is yeah another one that I've watched. Dude, um, his voice is so good. It's like ridiculous. So good. Yeah. But yeah, is it weird? Like, um, that that's there and not anymore. Yeah. I'm pretty used to it. I, I mean, I don't watch it right. by any means. Right. I would be, I think, horrified sure. at myself, not at anyone else. So yeah, it's not like I go back and I'm like, oh boy. Right. That's why I don't go back and watch it because I'm like, I, mean, I know I'd have that reaction. I don't really do that with my stuff that I did years ago. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely. Hard to watch. Yeah, I definitely like know that I would cringe. Yeah, it's like know thyself. Yeah, you know how you're gonna react, so just don't even go there. Yeah, that's really true. Oh, that looks so good. You Thanks. added a, a I don't bit know. of glitter. I don't I know like how that it. looks. No, I, feel like I it like looks it. Kind of meh. I think it looks rad. But I'm into it. Thank you. You're welcome. I've been working on this. This what did you call it? Tall fatty. Tally fatty. <laughs> Tally fatty. <laughs> sure. It's okay. It's not the best thing I've ever made in my life, but it's I think it's cool. It's like rustic with that twine. Rustic, yeah. Which role would you want to do that the other one has done? Oh, your muzzled character. Yeah? For sure. You would be so good at that. Mary Kay 